Okay, hello and welcome to my uh, Blitz Basic uh, tutorial uh, for absolute beginners. Okay, just to introduce it, it's uh, how to program. Okay, you can download uh, a programming environment from or programming language uh, from blitzbasic.com. That is the website, and you will be able to uh, download an evaluation version which I recommend, which is Blitz Plus. These are all the products that they do. That's uh, Blitz 2D, which is no longer in production. Uh, Blitz Plus, uh, which is this one here, and Blitz Max as well, and Blitz 3D and Monkey, which is for programming on mobile devices. Okay, so um, the ones uh, I'm concerned with are Blitz Plus and Blitz 2D for the absolute beginners. I'm actually going to be using Blitz 2D to start with. Um, there are separate reasons for this, just so you can see the difference and why. Um, and it also makes it a little bit simpler in certain circumstances. So go to blitzbasic.com, download yourself uh, Blitz Plus. I'll be using Blitz 2D, but uh, its color codes might be slightly different, but uh, it shouldn't really matter. Uh, it's essentially they're mutually compatible anyway. Um, okay, so let's get started. Um, you, once you install it, download and install it, it will be here, here, Blitz Basic. Okay, so when I open this window, um, Usually you'll be greeted with this screen, screen, and what you do is you do just go File, New, and it will give you another screen. Okay, so I've got two open there anyway. Anyway, type in a command, and the first command we're going to use is graphics 640 by 480. This means it's uh, going to give us, uh, we're going to be using 640 pixels across and 480 pixels down. Okay, and we want 16-bit color, and we want two for a window screen. If I put in one, it would have been a full screen. If I put in three, it would have been a resizable screen. If I put in zero, then it would be a default. And if I left them out like that, then it would be default. And this is your X coordinate across the top of the screen. This is your Y coordinate going from zero at the top of the screen, or top of the window, if you specify a window down to 480 at the bottom. Remember, the y-axis is the opposite way around to uh, what you find from Cartesian coordinates in maths. Okay, so I'll put that in. And to run the program, you just put click on the uh, rocket or you press F5. Okay, and I don't want to save it. That's why that's come up. It says program has ended. There we go. 640 pixels across and 480 pixels down. Sorry, down. But uh, in maths, remember, it is 640 across and 0 to 480. It's the other way around in mathematics. OK, so just be aware of that. The x-axis is the same for maths, but the y-axis is the other way around. Uh, so it goes from 0 here to 480 here. Kind of important. <laughs> OK, and I just click OK. Um, okay, so it's come out with the graphics 640 by 480, six, and it's 16 bit, and it's a window, a non resizable window. Okay, so let's use the command print and print uh, hello world. Okay, very simple. Okay, so it's going to print what's ever in there. I could put anything in there I want, and it's going to print hello world. Okay, and see, print hello world. Okay, program has ended. Okay, okay. So let's go back. Um, uh, close. Okay, ready. Um, so if I type in a command called locate, which um, is it not actually on uh, Blitz Plus? Blitz Plus actually specifies some of those parameters here. But uh, anyway, we're going to use this one. Three, uh, three twenty across uh, by. Uh, 240. Okay, so that will locate it just to demonstrate coordinates uh, in the middle of the screen. If I move that out of the way, you see, see that's uh, 320 across and 240 down from 0 to 240, and that's that mm, that top left-hand corner that it specified it at. Okay, but I don't want that box at the end, so I'm going to tell the program to end okay so now when i run it it will end 
it came up very, very quickly. So it ended the program, printed it, and then it finished the program. I want it uh, to not end the program until I press a key. So I'm going to put in wait key. OK, so you can see it turns to yellow. So it's a command in Blitz2D. OK, so when I run it now, it will wait until I press a key, and I press a key, and I'm done. OK, I still haven't saved it because it says untitled at the top. I'm not going to save it yet. Uh, we're going to do uh, something else uh, to start with. OK, so I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. And we're not going to use that. And we're not going to use that either. OK. Oh, actually, we should put wait key in there just in case uh, it ends. OK, I'm going to create uh, some coordinates. And I just put x as a variable that I want to use. And x I'm going to specify as 0. And y I'm going to specify as halfway down the screen. Remember, naught's at the top. And it increases as it goes down the screen. y equals 240. Now, um, uh, that specifies the position here. So when I run the program, well, nothing will happen, but it's uh, x. it now knows that x and the y coordinate is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an image there. But first, we have to load the image, OK? And we have to give it a vari variable name. So it's going to come up in white in Blitz, Blitz 2D. And so I go IMG underscore uh, star. I'll call it star. I could call it anything I want. I don't even have to put the IMG in front. It's just a variable name. You can call it monkey, banana, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and I want that equal to the load image, which is a command which loads the image. And I have to put the brackets. Okay, you see it's a command there. And I can go star. Okay, and it's going to be a bitmap image. Important to specify what type of image it is. And I close the brackets. OK, so I've loaded the image into the computer's memory. Now, if I run the program, you'll notice nothing happens. That's because I haven't drawn the image to the screen. OK, so if I do draw image and draw image img underscore star, and I specify a coordinate x and coordinate y, which is default. If you ever want to know, by the way, what a command is, uh, what a command does, you can click on the command and just press F1, and it will come up. You probably can't see it on the video. In the corner there, draw image, image, comma, x, comma, y, and then it's got the option for frame. So you could put another comma here, and the frame of the image that you want to draw We'll get onto that. We won't worry about that yet. So draw an image, image star. Now uh, run the program, and it will come up with illegal memory address, which means that you've specified a dr an address somewhere in here that it doesn't recognize. OK, it recognizes this one, it recognizes this one, it recognizes this, it recognizes this. This is because we haven't yet drawn star.bmp. So easiest. Uh, paint editing program is paint. Okay, so we want to draw a star and image. I'm going to choose attributes and I specified it as 5 by 5. Okay, so it's very, very small. It's 5 pixels across by 5 pixels down. Okay, and if I go view, zoom, uh, custom, 800, and I can zoom in. Now, the background color or the mask color as it's called, that's the color that shows up transparent to Blitz Basic, is actually in black. So anything that's black is not going to show up. You can change this to another color if you want to, but we'll leave that for another time. OK, so you can just uh, grab a pen and just draw a star. I'm just going to draw a very simple white star. Clickety-click. OK, and maybe I want something like this. Looks more like a cross. Okay, there's my starish. I'll just have a diagonals going out like this. Remember, the rest of the screen is black, so it'll probably look like more like a star when it's printed on the screen um, or drawn to the screen rather. A file, save as, and I need to save it in the same directory. Uh, for the moment, I'm going to call it on the desktop, and I'm going to call it star.bmp. Um, sorry. 
the star star dot bmp there it is okay I'll just stay take a look at this okay as okay yep okay so now I've got my star and now I run my program and press cancel still a legal memory address why is this okay we have to save the program to the same directory okay and for the moment that is the desktop so I'm going to call this program star okay and I saved it to the desktop okay I'll overwrite that one okay and now when I run the program you see the star is at 0 and 240 okay so our star is right there if you can if you can see it okay so that concludes the very first tutorial of how to write a computer game that is going to be our star for our computer game okay if you've got any questions leave it in the comments etc etc there are quite a few now uh, blitz basics tutorials on the on the internet so have a good look at them as well if you don't really understand what i'm talking about um, or just ask in the comments and uh, i will see you next tutorial okay thank you very much bye bye